So welcome to the Aquis Technologies booth. Probably the most, in fact, definitely the most uh, elaborate booth here at the show this week. Uh, it's got a very amazing display in the background here of a, a water system. Um, but even more amazing is their departure from batch machines into inline. Well, it's maybe not a departure, is it, Mike? It's, it's more, more like inclusion. Yeah, an evolution, as, as, it, as it were. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this uh, inline machine. It's called a Typhoon, um, and it looks to me it's got one, two, three, four, four cleaning zones in one drying zone. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Trevor. We're we're known to be a batch, as you know, we're known to be a batch company. We've been building batch machines for 20 years. This is our 20th anniversary this year. Right. And we don't want ever to be an also ran. We want to do things quite different, and we're both the accused by our competitors as being very different and and that's something that we all agree on we are very different for a reason different by design right one of the things that we wanted to do in a in an inline format um, and, and and just to back up a little bit we're still a batch company 85 percent of inline machines in north america are running as batch machines they're not connected right. to a conveyor on that end or on that end they're running as a batch. It's a standalone. So they're machine. standalone machines. Right. They just have a conveyor mechanism where the boards move around the the different zones, as opposed to the zones moving around the boards. Right. So it's just right. a slight difference in in mm -hmm. concept. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the reasons that we wanted to go to this is because uh, for two reasons. One, we have customers that have boards that just won't fit in a square box typical batch process. Okay. Um, so we designed this machine to have a 24 inch belt. It's a 12 foot machine with a 24 inch belt. That's a wow, huge that's a very belt. wide belt. Size. Very, very wide belt size. Right. And that can either take advantage of very large boards up to 24 inches or it could take advantage of several lanes of smaller boards. Mm -hmm. So this machine is a throughput monster. It, right. it will put boards out the other end very, very rapidly. Right. Uh, either single lane or multiple lane. Mm -hmm. But one of the other things that we learned in the batch machine business over the last 20 years is it's very important how the angle of the fluid, the wash solution or the rinse water, hits the board. Yes. And where most machines that are based on a conveyor have roughly, a, uh, they hit the board perpendicularly, you know, with a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Um, when you hit, whenever you get a reflection of water or deflection of water, you lose most of the energy in the water or in the fluid. Right. So what we want to do is, is lower that angle mm -hmm. so that it hits the board on a 50 degree angle rather than a 90 degree angle. And okay. by, by coming in on an angle, we improve the, we maintain more of the velocity of the water and we get under components far better than we would by maintaining that energy as if we had just hit the board and bounced most of that water off. Well, I, I can see how you would get under the components um, uh, by having that, that angle, but I mean, if, if you've got some boards that are going through that have got, say, um, a very large uh, components on, on there, mm -hmm. would you have problems with shadowing or that type of thing? Shadowing is always um, something that all cleaner companies struggle with. In the batch machines, we have specific technology to reduce or eliminate shadowing. In this machine, we do the same thing. Right. And what we do on this machine is we, we, we like to diffuse the water. We believe that a, a, a wider diffusion of the water lowers the water particle size and increases both contact area and, and the particle size of the water for better under component penetration. Right. So we, we don't embrace the philosophy of non-diffused or coherent. Uh, flow. We really like the idea of, 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 of uh, diffusing the, the, the solution. The challenge in diffusing the solution is it takes larger pumps because mm -hmm. you have to generate a lot of pressure to force water out of a hole it would rather not go out of. So right. you either have to apply lots of pressure to the board, which you do if you don't diffuse the water, or you have to apply a lot of pressure at the nozzle, right. in which case you don't need as much pressure at the board. So you have to put pressure somewhere. Um, this system has very large pumps um, in it because we have to run water through about 60 nozzles like this. Right. This this allows water this to come your, out. This is your nozzle design. That this is the nozzle design, degree. right? It's a stainless right. nozzle, has a small orifice, but the water comes down and hits this this deflector and diffuses it out. Mm. So we have wide overlapping coverage of a of a shallower angle of attack. Right. So the shallow angle of attack helps get under components better by maintaining velocity and, and having less uh, reflection angles. Mm -hmm. um, and the diffusion part of that allows the water particle sizes to be smaller. Right. So this machine has a pre-wash section, a wash section, a, a rinse section, a final rinse section, okay. and then two drying sections, okay. uh, which are also very unique. Right. The dryer is, is 
instead of using a fixed position air knife, which is conventional wisdom, everyone mm -hmm. uses a fixed position mm -hmm. air knife, as do we. Yeah. But we add a rotating air knife. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, it's 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 actually not uncommon in the in the precision cleaning business. Right. You know, machines that clean metal parts with mm -hmm. blind vias and all sorts of complex geographies use that technology. Right. But it's never been applied to circuit boards before. And circuit boards are have complex geographies and blind vias and all sorts mm -hmm, of things, mm -hmm. just like metal parts do. So the advantage of having uh, a rotating uh, air knife is that the board for a, a three foot of conveyor length is subjected to multiple attacks of that air knife right. onto that board as opposed to just one moment uh, as it passes underneath it. So we're, we're able to really emulate more air knives by having a rotating air knife that just keeps going back at that board over and over and over again, over and over again. while it's in its sphere of influence. Right. Um, if we were to have multiple air knives, we could accomplish the same thing, but multiple air knives mean more blowers. Blowers are expensive, noisy, and, and they consume a lot of power. Right. And one of the things you know about our company is we're very, very green. Yep. And we really wanted to stake a flag in the ground uh, a very green ground, if you will, mm -hmm. to make sure that we weren't drawing too much energy, we weren't using too much water, um, we kept a, a modest footprint of 12 feet, but didn't sacrifice on the performance. Let me ask you a question. I mean, uh, I can understand the principle of the, ro the rotating air knife. I mean, would the same apply if, if you were going to, say, use a, a rotating um, nozzle head uh, in, in, in the wash compartment? Uh, so that you would get it maybe into some other angles that you wouldn't normally get into. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's been done. That's mm -hmm. been done before. Um, there was a company 25 years ago out of the UK mm -hmm. uh, that had a rotating uh, spray bar. And that's the technology we embrace on our batch cleaners. We have rotating spray bars. Um, we don't think that applies as well when it comes to um, conveyorized equipment. We like the ability to be able to change the nozzles, um, the nozzle configurations and designs as the unit as the board travels through the machine. Right. So we could have more flooding nozzles at the beginning, we can have more diffuse nozzles in the middle, we can have more flooding nozzles at the final rinse. Right. Uh, and if you have a rotating spray bar, it's it, there's too much randomness in, in, right. in what section of the board it's hitting. It's mm -hmm. difficult to have staging, if you will, of the nozzle designs. Okay. So we're keeping with a traditional multiple spray bar, fixed spray bar approach, but a very non-traditional nozzle design. Right. Um, right. And, and that seems to be the best of all worlds. Uh, Inline cleaners might, uh, are generally known to be pretty chemistry hungry, um, you know, they, they, you know, compared to, to, to batch. You know? yeah. So um, why, uh, what sort of um, volume of boards would you be producing or cleaning mm -hmm. um, to, to warrant an inline? We, because what, one of our corporate core values is mm -hmm. to be environmentally responsible, we don't run this with chemical. This is a water only machine. Our batch machines are the chemical machines. So if you have a um, low volume chemical required application, cleaning no clean flux or RMA flux, for example, our batch machines do a very good job at that. If you have a high volume mm -hmm. that of, of chemical required applications, our high yield batch machines do a very good job at that. They'll run for a year using a few thousand dollars worth of chemical. Right. Where most traditional, traditionally designed inline machines could be 70 or 80 thousand dollars worth of chemical. In that same period of time. So, so this is simply using DI water, but this using the impingement factor exactly. to, to, to remove the, the, yes. the soils. For water soluble flux. Now, we are going to be introducing, right. uh, in a short period of time, and uh, a slightly longer version of this machine, which will be chemical compatible. Okay. But it will have what we would consider to be very unique uh, isolation properties mm -hmm. that allow the majority of the solution to be uh, blown off and, and isolated from the wash section to the rinse section so that we maintain the chemical in the machine. Right. Uh, but any inline machine, no matter how good its isolation is, it's still going to go through a higher volume of, of chemical. Right. So that's one of the reasons why our batch process machines are so popular mm -hmm. in no-clean applications, because just the, just the chemical savings alone you know, basically pays for the machine over and over again compared to other processes. So, um, what, sort of, so what sort of volume of, of, of boards you know, would you say would be the cutoff point between making sense to have a batch cleaning system yeah. versus a, an inline? Well, that's an interesting question because that that number has, the target has moved, the line, justification mm -hmm. line has moved quite a bit over the years because the batch machines have gotten faster and faster and it's pushing the bar out for inline machines. Right. Um, if you take a Euro card size board mm -hmm. and a batch machine, our batch machines, um, they're pretty fast. They'll do about, um, 
80, 90 euro cards per cycle. Mm -hmm. So uh, 150, say, round right. numbers, euro cards an hour mm -hmm. per chamber. So on our single machines, that's 150. On our duo machines or two chamber machines, it's 300, 450, 600 an right. hour. That's that's a lot of euro cards mm. for without having to go to an inline machine. Right. Um, but companies buy inline machines for different reasons. Some companies buy inline machines because they were replacing an inline machine. They have an they have an inline mentality. Their their ovens are inline. Right. Their wave solder machines are inline. They have a lot of conveyors, so they want it. They think this should be inline. Right. Reality is most people don't attach it inline with anything. But uh, if you do have a true inline process that's gonna and you want the oven to feed into the cleaner, mm -hmm. then that's a good justification for an inline machine. If you want a um, a re relatively fast turnaround. If you want to put a board in and, and three minutes later have it clean and dry at the other side, right. batch machines aren't the way to do that. A batch mm -hmm. machine will take 30 minutes, but but you'll get 50 boards out at 30 minutes. But if you just want one in three minutes, a batch machine would be a would be a, a yeah, obstacle. Good. It'd be a, a, a pinch point. So that's where these machines come in. Right. And there are some applications that clean faster and and. Not very many applications clean better. They're, both technologies are pretty are pretty good, but there are some applications that are better served with spray bars that are three inches above a, a target as yeah. opposed to twenty inches above a target. Yeah. And those applications are well served in machines like this. Mm -hmm. But you know, one again, one of our one of our core values is to have safety built into all of our machines too. So one of the things that kept us away from inline machines over the years was the, frankly speaking, the safety safety aspect. These machines are polypropylene on the yes, outside. They look, they look like and metal construction, but if you they, touch it, they touch they're it. plastic. plastic. Uh, the yeah. plumbing is all stainless steel, but right. still the weakest link is the fact that you've got a polypropylene container holding 150 gallons of, of wash solution, rinse right. water. Right. And uh, so one of the things that we wanted to do was was to make these machines run as safe as a batch machine can run. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we incorporated, which is an industry first, is run dry heaters. Our heaters can run day and night with no water, not that anyone would want to do that. But if there was a catastrophic failure of all the safety devices in the machine, or if there was a maintenance engineer that liked paper clips and liked to <laughs> bypass all the safeties in the machine, um, and was determined to try and ruin the machine, it would have a very hard time doing that, because the heaters are all certified run-dry heaters. Right. The pumps are sealless, magnetically coupled pumps that run dry. They right. can run for 36 hours without a drop of water in them. That's an industry first. Wow. So, so it's going to be very hard to... Um, it's going to be very hard to damage this machine, damage machine yeah, intentionally or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that helped helped us with the mm -hmm. benchmark of having a very safe machine that has no drain, no impact on the environment, um, that was well built and environmentally sound. Yeah. Th th those were our, our um, well, goals. Well, you know, as I say, it's, it's certainly an interesting one. Is the machine available now? Is it, is it ready for, uh, you know, are you taking orders now for it? It's or? in production right now. It's in production, yes, right, it's now. In production now. Yeah. 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 Well. We, uh, we wish you luck with it. It's always great to see innovation coming out of Aquis. You never let us down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. I appreciate that. Good seeing you. So good to see you again. All right. Take care. Thank you very much. This is Trevor Galbraith reporting from the Aquis Technologies booth here at Apex.